on um, April the 1st, Mom moved over into the trailer with us. So that put this into high gear. And not only did it put it into high gear, but she kept saying, you ought to add a kitchen, you ought to add a kitchen. Because we were just going to have the trailer as a bedroom and a kitchen. And we were going to turn this, Maya, get back. And we were going to turn this into um, an addition to the trailer, oh. which was just going to be a living area, a bathroom, and a bedroom. And then we could turn it into a TV room or something later on, and we could have a guest room for the kids with a bathroom or anyone else who came for a visit. And so we thought, well, if we add 10 foot on, we could add two bedrooms because I didn't want anyone staying in the trailer for another winter because there's just too much condensation and it's just yucky. Mm -hmm. So since we already added 10 foot on that area, which made John all frustrated, but he liked the idea, but he was still frustrated because he has a hard time if you change plans on him. Don't you, honey? Yeah. A little bit. So he has a little bit, little bit of a problem with that. So we had the 10 foot on, and then I got to thinking, well, what if we went 10 foot the other way, and that would give the kitchen? Actually, I thought 8 foot. Then we went ahead and did 10 foot. So now we have a kitchen, two bedrooms, and what we've decided is that we'll have a bedroom down here, the living space here. Mm -hmm. Then there will be the kitchen that shares the um, plumbing and electrical and gas wall with the bathroom. And then on the other side of that will be mom's room. So two bedrooms on opposite ends. Ours will be down here facing these with a big window shining all the sunlight, the morning sun in on us to wake us up. It'll be beautiful. So what was supposed to be a 14... Back up by Back 20 up. or 14 by 30 building turned into a 14 by 50. So in 10 foot increments. In 10 foot increments. So. And in multiple trips to Home Depot and multiple frustrating ideas of drawing and redrawing and redrawing. <sighs> well, and in between all of that, on February 22nd, Mariah had 10 puppies. Gus is the dad. Mariah was just up here. I don't know where she went to. So we've had we had ten puppies. So far, seven are sold. We're keeping one. No, eight are sold. No, seven are sold. We're keeping one. And we have two more left to sell. I'll post the pictures of those two. It's a Merle boy and a Tri boy. Sweet little puppies. And that will complete the sale of all that. And what we're going to do with that money is put it, pay for half of our portion of the well. Or pay the half of the well, which is our portion. Let's put it that way. Okay, Gus, back it off. Stop. Stay. So, stop. Sit. Sit. Okay, that's good enough. You do not have to be on me. Gus is kind of needy, but... He also pays attention to everything I do, and he protects everybody from Earl the gander. And Red is sitting on two eggs, so Earl's kind of really protective now, which makes Gus even more protective. But, so in between everything else, puppies were born, mom moved in, and yes. then we also had 16 little chicks brand new chicks in there that have finally been moved out to in with the turkeys and the guinea and we've got ducks coming we've got more turkeys coming just three but you got to be ready for change all the time I think so after we're delivering uh, for the uh, puppies to uh, Paducah Kentucky, Kentucky mm -hmm. um, we were here Comes, well, comes by. We, we delivered four puppies to Paducah because one was going to Indiana, two were going to North Carolina, and one was staying in Paducah. So that was an easy meeting area. So what we found on the way home, because I said, John, let's just stop and take a look. It was five o'clock at night, and I said, let's just stop and take a look at the Mississippi. And so meet Mississippi. Mississippi. 
Yes, his little sippy. She was sitting, and John will send, put pictures, post pictures of this too, but she was sitting on a little observation deck area watching the tugboats. Somebody had dumped her, and we saved her. And the moment she moved in, she was the boss. She took over. All the dogs. Everything. Have let her be, and she's learning. And we have lots of mice because I feed the birds. John will show you pictures of the, we have orchard orioles right now, goldfinch sitting out there, red-winged blackbirds, blue jays, all sorts of woodpeckers, downies, red belly, flickers. That's a red-bellied woodpecker. Uh-huh. And then we have um, blue jays, red birds, indigo buntings, painted buntings. We have a kaleidoscope of all sorts eagles. of birds. Eagles. Our eagles fly eagles, over. Eagles, juvenile eagles. We've had them as low as about 15 to 20 feet flying through with their kids. It's pretty awesome. Yep. Oh, and mom also brought a dog. That's Bella. She's right here. I don't know if you can see her. So I have my mom, a dog, a new cat. Two, oh, and I also went, we went, and with part of the puppy money, I purchased a red merle female that can that can breed with um, Gus, because we're going to start breeding um, Aussies. I like the temperament of our dogs. Um, he's a little bit more needy than I would like, but for the protection Gus, aspect move. of it, move. I'm, I'm happy with that. He's very smart. Um, Grace is very smart, the new one we just got. Mariah is smart and laid back. She's a wonderful dog. So. Uh, we also will post more videos and pictures of the new families who got our puppies. So that's been life here. John got the lawnmower going, so we were able to mow about an acre or two here around the house. Ticks are horrible this year. Chiggers are horrible this year. What else? Honey? Oh, and I haven't started my garden. One of the, my good friends, Bond, came up from southern Arkansas, and she got one of the female Merle puppies. She got Bella Rose, and she brought me some tomatoes, cucumbers, pepper, basil, oregano plants. So that's the beginning of my garden, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to direct seed, see what happens with the tomatoes, the peppers, and the melons and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be my experiment for this year since everything else took precedence over it. And then uh, um, we've had the time to be able to do a lot of this because um, our the income from the, um, the websites uh, to the company is, uh, has grown. And um, we had another uh, deal that came in that uh, is a consulting have kind of a consulting gig, and um, that's uh, something you know. Do the building of stuff during the day, or on, on the good days, on rainy days. I get to do computer work. Um, it's you know, if I've got some pressing things during you know after a long day out here doing this, I've got two, three, four hours uh, of time at night before I about fall over and fall asleep while I'm in my chair working on uh, those projects. So um, that's helped out a lot where I don't have to physically, you know, leave the property to go um, and go find new business like I used to in the past. So it was like it was in the beginning. So um, that's made life a lot easier. And it's taken, uh, we've been here like two years, just under two years. Here's what I'm hoping. June 24th will be our anniversary to move over here and to be out on the island in our tra trailer. So I'm hoping that by June 24th, this will be done and we can, well, we'll have a shell up where we can live in it and, then and put, a kitchen up. And then get the trailer put up for sale. And then um, we'd like to increase the size of the fridge to go from a, what, three, three, four cubic foot uh, RV fridge that includes a freezer to um, probably a solar powered uh, fridge with uh, panels and car batteries and or uh, or just uh, or the uh, a propane based uh, fridge as well so 
uh, trying to find the best deal on something like that and, and just source. Well, figure out what would be it. the best thing to do. I'd rather do solar because I don't really yeah. want to go like to my propane. I'd like to eliminate the propane side of things if we can. We're um, going to have a little propane heater in the bathroom, but we're going to heat the tiny house with, um, and I guess, it, I don't know if it's a tiny house, but it's a small house um, with wood, a wood fireplace, a wood burning stove. And then I would then hopefully our 500 gallon propane tank will last two maybe three years instead of just one year because we just had that topped off and uh, we, so we barely used, made it we got so we had cheaper than winter prices on our propane we got a dollar yeah. well they were asking a dollar 99 John called another company and they were asking a dollar 49 but they wanted to um, pre pressure test the tank again, which is another hundred. And so uh, John called back the other company that we have always dealt with and let them know about that. And they gave us the price of $1.59 a gallon, which is much better than $1.99 a gallon for winter prices. So we got, um, so we used, we had, we topped off to 400 gallons, um, which was at right at, well, did we do 80% or 70? 70. 70. We did 70 right before winter. So we were down to 5% um, by the time we were done. So um, we ended up uh, filling 360 gallons uh, at the top and back off to 70, uh, back up to 70%, which was um, whatever that is, 359 times $1.59. And which is so that gives you an idea of that that kind of a cost for um, well when do we fill it up September July mm -hmm. August, September September of last year and this is uh, May so beginning of May so that's you know that's uh, using you know cooking heating everything off of propane in the trailer which of course is not very efficient we'll have the on-demand gas water heater yeah in the house we'll have a nicer one this was a portable outdoor unit and we'll have an indoor unit in the the indoor unit will actually home. it'll maintain uh, better temperature um, across a variety of pressures the outdoor one uh, just makes it hot you know and it's, it's a fluctuating thing so yeah. you kind of adjust adjust it, adjust but your water stayed on longer than six gallons so I can't yeah. complain you didn't have a five to six minute shower and then you were done and then you had to wait for it to cycle before the next person could go. And that six gallons is six gallons when it's new, but when it's old, it's about probably four and a half, five gallons of that, with all the crustaceans in it. So that's, that's what's been happening with us, and we just wanted to give you an update, because we haven't posted in, what, three weeks? Yeah, because it's, well, it's either been raining, or we're dealing with puppies, or uh, delivering puppies, having people come up and get puppies, and I had to be on Facebook. I mean, I can't say anything bad about it for almost a little over $4,000. The gig was not bad to have to work for two weeks on Facebook selling the puppies, and that's where most of my sales came from. So, but I took two weeks off to be available to answer all questions and get the puppies good homes. That was really important. And we found dynamite homes for all of them. But the puppies, in essence, pay, are paying for the well, um, or our, our half of the well, so we won't have to go find running, or should I say go run and go get water this winter if we have another drought. Well, not winter, because we did it during the summer. Yeah, a latter part fall. of the summer and stuff. Yeah. Um, we spent two months having to get water because our well had... Um, two? It seemed like four months. It seemed forever. Probably two cool. months and then it rained again and then our spring started up again so last year yeah no way yeah four months no mm -hmm. yeah don't trust him on times people i'm just telling all you. i know is i spent most of my time trying to remember <laughs> to fill water uh, and go get it he exaggerates just a scooch scotch a bit an itty bitty bit he, he's he's an exaggerator. Plus, yeah. he, he's not good on remembering time. So if he ever tells you time on here, I'm just going to let you know. Guess, don't no. mark it down anywhere because it could be wrong. Right, honey? Do you have a little bit of problem with that? Not really. Not in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Ah, so beautiful day. Time to get back to work. We got to get the wall up. We're building the south wall, 50 feet. Well, actually, we have to build 10 foot more of flooring, and then 10 we're gonna, foot more of north we're get, wall, south we're gonna wall. We're going to get this section. We got that section up this morning. The west. I'm gonna the west side. I'm going to get uh, the first of the three sections for the south side done tonight. I'm going to lay out the next section for getting that up. Hopefully we'll get that up in the morning and then by evening we'll have the last section done and then we can build And the first the next round. 14 by 20 feet. Gus, go. Um, we got donated to us and we've had to pay for the rest. We did get some of the lumber from the lumber mill. Uh, the mill was a great deal in terms of price, but then the labor to make sure that the length and the width were exactly what they were supposed to be, it, it was a lot a lot of time involved. Time or money. So, it's time or money, people. And we but gave we got time. a pretty doggone stout wall with, you know, solid uh, two inch by, you know, five and a half or six inch board. So, and, pretty impressive. And it was heavy. Super heavy. And we've got... Um, our windows, we're probably only going to have to purchase two right now, possibly three if I add one down at the bathtub level where you can see out. So, out of all the windows we're putting in here, we've only had to purchase two. We drove up to Springfield, Missouri and got the free ones that there was a video that shows how we did that, but um, found those on Craigslist. So, and the door that's going in here is a... Uh, French door and it is an eight foot tall. We're gonna take the transom off of it or it'd be over nine foot tall. And we'll put that here. And the windows, the windows almost come down to the ground. So you'll you'll see that in the videos. What will you do? Will you just how will you show them that and tie it to this video? What part? The videos of the windows so they can see how actual actual tall they are. You'll see them when they're in the wall. They're huge. Huge. They're gigantic. And they are um, wood. They're wood with double pane. They're double pane. Um, I used to sell windows a while ago in a different life. but What do you think they are? Marvins or? I don't know the brand name or, or anything, but there's three quarter inch or so approximately um, air spacing in between the double panes. These came out of a $750,000 house. Um, guy had them for a long time. He's going to use them. And just uh, decided he didn't have time to mess with it. So we got we're the messing windows. With them. Now we're messing with them. So we'll still have to do some trim and make it all look right. Well, to once fit. one we have to fix the bottom sill yeah, on it. Yeah, the bottom sill. You know, one of them needs uh, some repair, but the rest of it, it uh, they're pretty much ready to go. Uh -huh. And then we need handles. We need new cranks and stuff for them. So we got to find those. Yeah. Or make them or whatever. And you'll also see some videos of the puppies and the training going on with the puppies. And they're 11 weeks old today. And so two more have to go. I got to get those out there. But just wanted to give you an update. We'll check back in and John will get more videos downloaded. And the reason he hasn't downloaded is because he's working on his um, consulting job in the evenings. But we'll get back and on track and get it rolling. But money is finally coming in and we have a little bit of extra and that is another reason we decided to go ahead and expand because we could we had enough that would help cover it yeah and then just by adding a little bit more on either end gave us ability to have our mom here get a kitchen and uh, get, get, out of the trailer, get out of the trailer condensation city all so winter long we don't have to deal with the trailer for one more year or however much longer it was going to be to do it because the next step was after we built this we were going to build the roundhouse and we can save up some money and do some unique things over there now yeah our roundhouse will still go in we'll keep this as office space and guest space and we'll make that area out there because i really want a light straw clay um, building i want to be in a round womb like um, nurturing spot and be grounded and we're going to put an earth floor in there so we'll be grounded at all times and uh, Sippy will like it better because she'll have n natural things to play on. 
Okay. All right, well, guys, back to work. Thanks for joining in. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you guys on the next round of off-grid homesteading. <laughs> okay, bye. More shenanigans with John and Kelly. <laughs> now, he doesn't go very good with my shenanigans. No, it he, that he, involves work. He kind of gets puckered up because I change things uh. all the time. Not all a right. good pucker boy. Bye. Bye.